Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting an error saying that your profile could not be opened correctly. So if you're using your web browser and you're getting this error that says your profile was unable to load correctly, we're going to go through a couple of different ways on how to hopefully resolve this issue. And we're going to jump into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just left click on the start button one time. You want to type in a percent sign above the 5 key, so basically hold down the shift and the percent key on your keyboard at the same time. You want to get that percent sign, and then you want to type in app, data, and then another percent sign. Best manager, come back with a file folder. You want to left click on that to open it up. Now you want to left click on the app data up in the top path here, so go back. This is basically what we're doing, we're going back to the app data section. And now you want to double click on local. Now that we're on local, you want to go and double click on Google. And then double click on Chrome. And now there should be user data folder, double click on that. And then double click on the default folder in here. Now that we're here, you want to go down until you get to the web information, so where it says web data. And if it says anything else like web data, web data copy, or web data journal, you want to delete them. So again, just right click on it, left click delete. And that's pretty much it. You might not even need user account control permissions in order to do that. So at that point, I would suggest restarting your computer and hopefully that resolved your issue. And just in the event that that did not work, I would actually suggest deleting the user folder and creating a new one. So in order to do that, again, we're already under here, so we're already underneath the default section. So this time we're actually going to go back and left click on the user data section up at the top here. Now if you're having a problem, we can actually just rename the old default folder here. So right click on it, left click on rename and go at a dot old at the end, so default.old. Hit enter on your keyboard in order to change that. And now we want to create a new folder, so just right click in a blank area in this window. Left click on new, and then left click on folder. You want to name it default, and then hit enter. Now that you've done that, I would suggest restarting your computer and then follow that by restarting your web browser and see if you're able to load it up without any errors. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.